Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to do a quick tutorial for you guys today to do something a little bit different, but I have noticed that a lot of you guys are using the Posture Prep Groomer that I use often. So I wanted to uh, kind of explain how I was taught to use that as a massage aid, and uh, let's dive right in. Okay, so just a little recap. I first heard about this Posture Prep Groomer which looks a little bit similar to a curry comb of a sort, I guess, um, from Emma Ford when I did a clinic with her about horse grooming, barn management, all that fun stuff. And I really loved that she used this. I loved all the stuff that she told me about it. And she uses this not as so much as an actual grooming tool, but more for massaging the muscles warming them and loosening them up before a horse goes to work. So I started incorporating it into my grooming routine and I know I've raved about it a lot, but I don't know that I've ever shown you guys how I was taught to use it. Scooch back over, buddy. So when I use this posture prep groomer, I don't use it like a curry, like this. I'm going to use it more across the muscles. It has these um, small points in it that kind of work as like a massager. So by, by running it over the muscles across them, it's going to be helping warm them up and loosening up the skin um, as you're grooming. So sometimes, from what I understand, from what I've learned, um, the skin can kind of get attached um, Doppler's is pretty unattached, but it, it can, and this helps really loosen it up. It also just makes their muscles feel nice and warm. It's, it's just like getting a massage. Emma Ford made a great point when I did the clinic with her that, you know, horses are supposed to be moving from their hind end, so she always works back to front when grooming, and um, kind of works away from back to front and then does the legs last. Obviously the legs are a little bit more difficult with this tool, but you can still use it uh, to work on those as well. So when I did the clinic with her, she showed me how she kind of starts at this hip bone here, and you'll see me use my hand to rub right above that hip bone muscle. And you'll see me use my hand to rub in this motion, pulling the, the groomer up right above that muscle. That's kind of tight for Doppler. He's had a couple of days off. Um, but you really kind of work into that. And then you'll see as I move along, I'm just running the groomer across the muscles. So if his muscles are running back this way, I'm running them across, helping them loosen up. And I feel like I work pretty palm heavy, so I don't know if you can see, but I'm definitely going like this, working into the muscles. You don't have to work heavy in your hand, but I like to. I feel like the more I can really rub into those muscles, the better. I know. And then as I move my way down his hips and his butt, I just continue to stay across the muscle. Doppler can tend to be a little tight, um, which is why he's moving around, but he is also pushing into me though, you can't tell, but he's leaning into it, and he's licking and he's chewing, so clearly it feels really good. It also works as a curry, especially if your horse is shedding as bad as mine, oh my goodness. When I come around this, um, I, this is an area I'd be a little more careful about, some horse can be really tight here. I run my hand horizontally over these back muscles back here. Really just trying to loosen up all of his muscle groups. And I'll do his lower butt. And then you'll see I like to work my way back up and over before I start on his back. My doctor's back tends to be his most sensitive area, so he can sometimes be a little bit reactive here. Good boy, but he feels good today. That feels really good. And again, I just really use my hand to rub in and just loosen everything up for him. 
And with the back, I just go back and forth over and across the muscles. So the back muscles are running this way, and I'm going up and down over them. I tend to spend a lot of time here for him. As this is his really sensitive area. I can even go over his spine. He's not very sensitive in his actual spine, but that sometimes feels good. And then as I work my way down his barrel, I continue the same motion. Dobler's belly is kind of sensitive, so I don't tend to go down there really. Now, as we move towards, I'm working a little faster today than I normally would. Normally, I spend a little more time doing this, so I don't feel like you can spend too much time working on stuff like this with your horse. Gosh, he's shedding so bad. So when I move on to the shoulder, I kind of change the angle a little bit differently from up and down, and I kind of go across like this. Again, this is just what I was shown to be most beneficial to the horse. So I'm running across these shoulder muscles. I kind of do a little arcing motion here. And just loosening up and warming up all those muscles. Now if you're working back to front, uh, for tutorial purposes, I'm only doing one side but you should be doing the hips and butt on both sides and then working forward to the back, just to clarify. Again, yeah, kind of doing this more um, for a tutorial standpoint today, which is why I'm only working on one side. That hurts a little tight in his shoulder, which is why you see him a little reactive there. When I move into this groove of their shoulder, I really run up and down along. Some horses have a different shoulder angle, but I really run in that groove. Again, his shoulders tend to be tight, so that's why he's a little more reactive there. Running across like this, so good for him. As I move into the neck, I like to start at the top of the neck first. So slow roll over, almost as if I'm focusing like right below the mane. Doppler really likes this part. Staying up and over. If they allow it, I really like to do some work right along the pole. So like right in this area behind the ears, where the bridle goes, just loosening all those muscles up. And I'll go, again, a little bit shorter for tutorial purposes, but I will go up and down these neck muscles a lot. Another part where Doppler can be very tight and reactive, less um, lately, but has been before, so this is a great exercise, he really likes it. Then as I move down, see? Then as I move down, I'll do the lower part of his neck again. Doppler gets very tight through here, so you'll see him be a little reactive. And I just do all of these muscles. And I would go up and down a few times. He's having some releases now. And you can go down to his chest. Don't forget those chests, Doppler. Really likes his chest being done, good boy, yes. So then as I move my way down again, you can spend more time on all of these things, trying to move along so that you're not bored out of your mind for the tutorial. But um, when it comes to the legs, you can probably go about it any way, but I, again, try to go across the muscles. So I work a little more gently on the legs, Again, this is my personal preference, not by any means an expert, but Emma Ford actually didn't use this on their legs. She used hands-on gloves, another great product with a similar idea shrunk down, but I do use this on the legs. I just work very gently across those muscles. And I pretty much probably only do the top of his leg but that just helps warm those areas up. The 
The hands-on gloves, I, which I do not have on me right now, are great for that lower leg stuff. The hands-on gloves are, have little teeny little points and you can work all the way around the fetlock, pastern, and cannon area. And same with the back leg. I work across these stifle muscles like this. Doppler isn't too sensitive, so I can work on the inside. Some horses are a little more sensitive there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I wanted to kind of show you guys that today. I, like I said, I've seen a lot of you guys tagging me in posts that you're using a posture prep groomer and you like it and your horse likes it, which is great. Again, this is a product I really love and I feel like has really helped with my prep and whatnot. Um, but I wanted to kind of show you guys how I go about it because I don't know that I've ever done that. There's not for it, by any means a wrong way to use it. You definitely use it as a curry. Um, it's not going to do any harm by doing that. Um, this is just the way I was shown and taught how to use it. Doppler even really likes using it on his face. So you'll see me kind of slightly with just half of the groomer use it across his face. And he really actually loves um, me going across his head with it. It doesn't bother him at all. This is probably the only time I find I use a circular motion with it, is on his head. Um, I just feel like it probably feels better because it's harder to run across on their face. And then he's really dirty and... <laughs> you said dirty! But yeah, so that is the Posture Prep Cross Fiber Groomer. Covered in hair now, literally. <laughs> I just wanted to do that for you guys today and show you how I use it since so many of you guys are using it now and I love this product. I try to work really hard to show you guys honest products that I like and use daily just because I want to be real about things and I'm no in no way sponsored by or advertising for this company. Um, this is just something I really like and has found and have found to be very useful. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if there's any other products that you want me to kind of do a more specific um, vlog about, let me know. But I wanted to do that one today. And I will dive deeper into some of my grooming products and my grooming box later on in the vlog coming up soon. So stay tuned. See you guys soon.